Hello and welcome to iNerdius and the 64th episode in my series on the 100 novels that I think best represent 20th century science fiction. And in this episode, I am talking about The Lost World by Arthur Conan Doyle. This was originally published in 1912, serialized in The Strand magazine, and it is famously a science fiction novel about uh, dinosaurs that have survived in uh, or on a plateau in South America that has been completely separated from the rest of the world and thereby did not undergo some of the evolutionary changes that occurred in the rest of the world that led to the rise of uh, mammals, although there are mammals on the plateau, including uh, humans and also ape men. But it uh, somehow managed to avoid the extinction of the dinosaurs. So uh, dinosaurs are actually still alive on this plateau, as are a lot of other prehistoric mammals. Uh, so it's really kind of interesting and fun in that regard. So it is, in my opinion, I think it's the first novel uh, that posits the existence of dinosaurs in the modern era. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think it very well may be. Obviously, it's incredibly influential. It influenced uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs in The Land That Time Forgot, I believe. And of course, Michael Crichton in Jurassic Park and also the sequel, which he called The Lost World. So uh, just for those reasons, I think it belongs on this uh, list. But also, it's a great example of the utilization of some kind of, you know, well, I, would, I don't know if I would call them stereotypical characters in, in the sense um, of how we think of them now. But in the sense of perhaps the way they were portrayed then, you have a, uh, you actually have two key characters that are scientists in this particular novel. Uh, famously, of course, Professor Challenger being the primary uh, the primary one. And then you also have the classic Englishman adventurer character. And you have uh, the main character who is a journalist. So uh, I think that's pretty cool that the viewpoint character is actually a journalist in this uh, in this story. So uh, those are all, you know, in my opinion, classic character uh, viewpoint characters, I should say, classic viewpoint characters in uh, in fiction in general, but especially in science fiction, because you get the natural tendency for the character to want to understand what's going on around them. And so they will allow for that exposition that is required um, in, in a book like this. So does it have its flaws? Of course, you know, it's it's somewhat dated in terms of its um, portrayal of uh, women and of minorities and so on. But, you know, what are you going to do? It was written uh, at a certain time uh, in a certain place and you just kind of have to roll with it. Um, I enjoyed the story a lot. I'm actually not quite finished with it. I'm still getting towards the very end here, but I have skipped around. I read this, I think, a long time ago. It may have actually been an abridged version. I'm not really sure when I was a kid or if it was just a standard version, but it was a long time ago. I really didn't remember it. Uh, of course, Arthur Conan Doyle is more famous for the creator, um, as the creator, I should say, of Sherlock Holmes and as a mystery slash detective story writer. But I think um, uh, in this particular case, his book, The Lost World, definitely belongs on my imaginary bookshelf of the 100 novels that I think best represent 20th century science fiction. The Lost World by Arthur Conan Doyle. Thank you very much.